you will receive power then you will be my witness and go out there and demonstrate that there is a God in the heaven and you are the servant hallelujah for you have come to the kingdom at such a time to wear the royal uniform turn the glory go before the king by the blood of Jesus and deliver your people come on get up and do something in Genesis they made oxygen before you were born so that there will be no mistake when you are alive now you have to breathe oxygen so everything that you need has already been created. I hear no amen. Amen. The Bible says he has created everything we need, both in the spirit and in the natural, has already been created. Amen. Oh, your amen is weak. Amen. That means everything I heard of you that you need to be has already been created. Amen. The Bible says he created things visible and invisible. Not now he's going to create. He created them, so they've been created, but they are not visible what? Now. But in the course of time, they will be what? Visible. So when I it's already been created, so I came to submit to you what you will be tomorrow, it's already been created. Amen. Things visible and invisible has already been created. So how are you going to miss it? If you don't hear the word of God and obey it, then you will miss it. And tell somebody, look at me very well. Tell them, look at me very well. <laughs> and the best of me is not what you are looking right now. Tell them, the best of me is not what you are looking. Look at me really well. The best of me is not what you are looking The best is yet to come. Amen. Now uh, come on, give a shout like you're excited. Go everything that was. Moves. But there was a snake that was doing what? Movement. Did Adam take authority over it? So that's a mistake. But he has already been designed to take authority over every living thing that moves on earth. God says, I give you authority Amen. to step upon snakes, serpents, and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing, absolutely nothing, shall be able to hurt you. Am I going too fast? No. Are you following me? Yes. So I came to guarantee to you you should have confidence in declaring what I declare. Amen. What I say, you declare. Tell your neighbor what a preacher declares, you should declare. What a preacher declares, you should declare. Because one of the powerful things you will learn is God has spoken it, but you must confess it. Amen. You must speak it. Amen. You, you keep saying, this auditorium in a year shall be full. For the place where Psalm 23 was written is a desert. But David, looking not at the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen, said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Come on, wake up. The whole idea is this. God called a man called Abraham. Out of all of the Chaldeans. He was childless. Homeless, no land, no property. And God said, Your name is no more going to be Abraham, but Abraham. Oh, I like that. They're calling you millionaire. Yeah. Tell your they are looking at a millionaire right now. You are looking at an employer, an employer. Hello. And it means this one will deliver us from the land that has been cursed. From baby, he was called Noah. This one will deliver us from the land that was cursed. And when he was old and he sacrificed the lamb, then God said, I will no more curse the earth. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. For what Noah has done. There was a man in the Bible called Methuselah. It means when this one dies, it shall fall. Amen. And they didn't know they were calling long name. When this one dies, it shall fall. But when he died, then the flood, the rains came. You are designed for a pepper. Right. Now get excited, tell your neighbor, you haven't seen the best of me yet. You haven't seen the best of me yet. Oh, hallelujah. The beautiful ones, you, you speak a little Kigali, Swahili, you don't speak Nemaya Buana. Oh no, one day will take me. <laughs> so the whole idea, I like the theme, transform. That let's look at the word. You know, you know the word commonly is called transform. A little electrical gadget that you put in so that the power will not be high, it will come to 220. I remember when I was coming from the U.S., I bought many equipment that ran on 110. <laughs> and sometimes the children in the house, they don't know, and they just go and block it, especially the sound instrument. Then the whole thing will blow out, okay? But now you have equipment. You just need a transformer, a renewing of your mind. Then you can enjoy the benefit of that equipment. Another word is change, change. You know, that word has become a political word. You want one story? Yes. <laughs> one story about someone who was transformed. Sorry. First summer. Let's go first summer. Those of you listening by radio, I'm not just talking words. I'm talking life. And if you believe it, your situation will change. There was a tribe in Israel called Benjamin. They were the last, the last tribe. Reuben Senior Lady, Judah Dan, Naphtali, God, Ashe, Sakazero, the last is Benjamin. And this man Saul was from the tribe of Benjamin. And in his father's house, he was the least. In 1 Samuel chapter 9, the, the father's donkey was lost. You know the story. So they will send the little boy, you know, you go look for the donkey. So this tall donkey, donkey section, went to look for the donkey. Mm -hmm. He wandered from place to place till he came to a place near the uh, seer. The seer is like a prophet or the pastor of the area named someone. Verse 9, it said to him, look now, there is in this city a man of God, and he is an honorable man. All that he says surely comes to pass. So let's go to him. Perhaps he can show us the way that we should go and find our donkey. You are in the right place tonight, I hear you. So every time you come to change, you say, I'll hear a good word today. I'll get some answer. So his friend said, let's go to the seer. Before they arrived there, look at verse 16. Before they came to this place, God had already told someone, the prophet, that tomorrow, about this time, I will send you a young man from the land of Benjamin. And you shall anoint him commander over my people. Ooh. So if you believe me, you will be transformed. Amen. And you will transform other people. Amen. He was looking for a donkey. That's naturally what he was looking for. You may be here looking for a degree. You may be here looking for a few pounds. You may be here looking for healing. Whatever brought you to Europe, you are looking for. You will find that one. Yeah. Amen. But in addition, in addition, you will get good measure. Press down. Shake it together and run it over. Amen. But I know you don't believe me. But you are just barely surviving. But over and above, Ephesians 3, 20, God is able to do that. Someone to reserve that 
the big one, not the bones. If in London, I remember yesterday, I was in the street. The street, right. you buy a pound of meat, you get cow legs free. <laughs> I want to say what I'm going to say. I don't want to get in trouble, amen? But they have reserved the time for Saul. And he was looking for a donkey. His mind was not there. I wasn't prepared for the big bamboo bush in Chicago. Then they have reserved some seats. And his seat was there. He came and he came just to look for his donkey. Now a seat, high table, and a tire. And the Bible said, someone said to the cook, you know the meat I told you to reserve. The one who will eat it has come. Mm, tell me. Tell your neighbor today I will eat better, I will talk better. Transformation. 
check locally for any Mana Mission Church in your area and invite your friends to listen. Until then, remember that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. May God richly bless you, and he will in Jesus' name. Amen.